There is something about the promises of God. It comes with an assurance. There is something about the things that God have declared. And every single thing he has declared are true. There is something that stands out. When God have given a word to his children, if you can believe it and decide to run with it, you will definitely see it happen in your life. You will definitely see it come to pass in your life. If the Lord had given you a word of promise and then he brought it from the place of affirmation, I want you to know that every single thing that the Lord has expressed to you, every single thing he had expressed to you, every single thing he had brought forth to you will definitely be he said in jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think toward you he said he knows and the knowledge of god is more than beautiful when the lord tells you i know a thing then it means there is no doubt in it When the Lord tells you, I know a thing, it means there is something with it that connects to assurance. He says, I know the thoughts. You may not know, dear child of God, but God knows. You may not have come to the realization of this thought of God concerning your life. This may have been the reason that you are thinking too much. This may have been the reason you have bothered yourself too much. This may have been the reason you have put a lot upon yourself. Pondering over things that you ought not to have pondered about because it was long settled with God. He said, I know. He's not saying, maybe it will happen. He's not saying, I think I have this thought about you. He says, I know the thought I think towards you. So the thought on its own had an affirmation in it. The thought on its own was settled. Dear child of God, you need to come to that point today when you will realize that God is thinking about you. And not just thinking about you, He has settled every of the thoughts that He has for you. He says, I know the thoughts I have for you. That is the word in the past tense. So he had thought about every single thing that concerns your life and he had long settled it. He had thought about them and what he is waiting for is to see that you receive it in the due time. He had thought about them and all you have to wait for is the fulfillment and the accomplishment of every single thing that he has thought about you. You know, you have been thinking about a whole lot of things. That is why you even find it difficult to pray. You are thinking that God doesn't love you. You are thinking that God doesn't care for you. Sometimes you think, if he loves me, why has he kept me in this state that I'm in right now? If he says he has a great thought for me, such a thought that will bring me peace, Why do I experience this unease in my marriage? If he says he has a thought that will put evil far away from me, why do I still experience this evil in my family? If he says he has this thought that will bring me to an expected end, why is it that my expectations are not met yet? The child of God sometimes is fine to have this thought over and over again but do not allow them bring you to the place of doubt because one thing that God loves is to see that we trust him and is to see that everything he had pronounced everything he has spoken forth that we believe them so when he says that he has a thought for your life and is a thought of peace Dear child of God, if you are here to experience peace, don't worry, you will experience it. If you are here to see that peace in your marriage, don't worry, just remind him and say, Lord, 
And this was very true. If you are having this thought concerning me, and it is the thought of peace, why do I yet see unease in my marriage? Why am I still seeing these things that have taken away my peace of mind? Why am I experiencing these things that has troubled me so much? Remind him and say, Father, in your book of remembrance, you said it was written of me that I would have peace in my life because you have settled it in your thoughts, you have settled it in your plan. I'm here to see that peace. Please bring it to me. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will see God bringing it to you. You see, then he said, then shall you call upon me. This is very clear. It was after he had spoken these things. He then said, then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. If you are not seeing that peace that you expected to see, it's time to pray. It's time to tell God, you have promised me this peace and I'm here to see it. Please bring that peace to me. I want to see it. Please bring that peace to my family. We want to experience it. Please bring that peace to my marriage. I want to see that peace that you have spoken about. And then he promised that he will hack in unto you. He had promised that he will hear you. Are you seeing such things that connect with evil around your life? Tell God, I want to stop seeing this evil. I know sufficient in the day is many troubles. I know there are challenges day upon day. But enough is enough with these challenges in my life. Enough of these troubles. Enough of this death. Enough of these situations. Enough of these limitations. I want to see only things that are associated with good because you are the good father and everything that you promise is good. Everything that you have said will be a blessing to me will certainly be a blessing to me. I don't want to see this evil again. Bring these words to him. And then he said, I will ask him. He said, when you have called upon me, I will hear you, dear child of God. It's time that you petition everything rightly before God. It's time that you bring forth everything exactly to his table, just exactly as he has said it and as you want them. He says he will bring you to that expected end. He will give you your expectations. And he had promised unto us in his word in Proverbs 23 verse 18 that the expectations of the just the things that the expectations of the righteous are will not be cut short. He said the expectations of the righteous will not be cut short. So if there are some things that you have been expecting and you are yet to see, then tell him, I have these expectations that I'm yet to see. I have these things I've expected from you. I have these things I have brought forth to your table. But it seems as if I have not received it. You had said in your word, that you will bring me to an expected end. You will bring me to that expectation that I already have, that thing that I desire for my life and for my family. Please, I want to see it. He said, Then shall you call unto me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Then he said, And ye shall seek me and find me, when you search me, when you shall search for me, with all your heart. Dear child of God, I want you to know that every single thing that you have told God, every prayer and petition you have made, He will answer them. He will see to it that you receive them. But don't put a lot on yourself. Don't burden your heart because God has settled it already. Everything you are to think about, He had taught them for you already. All you should just say is, Father, Everything you have thought about me, I want to see them. Bring them to my hands. I want to receive them. The things I am yet to receive that you have settled in your thoughts about me, I want to see them. My children want to see them. My husband want to see them. My wife want to see them. My marriage need to see it. My future is expecting these things. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will see every single one of them come into your life. It may take time, dear child of God. You know there is an appointed time with God. 
and God keeps to his appointment. God shows up when he has to show up. He is never too early and he is never too late. He comes right on time. So believe him and trust him and tell him every of those things I want to receive and I want to assure you, you will receive it. It's taught for you, a thought of peace and not of evil. He wants to give you a future and he wants to bring you to an expected end. He said it and it will be yours to receive in the name of Jesus. Believe him, it shall be so in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.